When you want to start editing your images, you're going to go over to the tool panel on the left side of your screen. At the very top, these two little triangles allow you to switch between a single column and a double column display of your icons. Now in the double column mode, you don't have to move your mouse quite as much to access your different tools. Also, on a low resolution monitor, the very last icon down at the bottom may not appear if you're in the single column mode. So this way you're sure to be able to get access to all of your tools. Now, the tools are organized by function. The top section are the tools you use for selecting pixels and getting information about them. The next set of tools are going to be for doing things like painting, image retouching, and basic editing. Below that, we have several tools for working with paths, vectors, and shapes, as well as type. Below that, two icon positions for working with the display of your document window. And below that, we can work with our foreground and background colors. We can switch between a standard editing mode and a quick mask mode. And then down at the very bottom, let me go back to the double column mode, we have the ability to change the display of our document window on the screen. Now, when you look at most of these, you can see they're just kind of gray. But if you click on one to select it, you'll notice that icon position goes a little bit darker. It looks like a button that's been pressed. If you also look carefully at each icon, most of these have a little triangle down in the lower right corner. That indicates that there are additional tools hidden under the currently selected tool. For example, if I click on the rectangular marquee tool, it selects the tool. But if I click and hold, then I get a little flyout menu that reveals additional marquee tools. This little square indicates the currently selected tool from this menu. Below that, I have an elliptical marquee tool, a single row, and a single column marquee tool. And I also notice over here that the rectangular and elliptical marquee tools have a keyboard shortcut. Now, if I want to choose, let's say, the single row marquee tool, it doesn't have a keyboard shortcut, so I have to select it from the flyout menu. If I want to go ahead and use the rectangular marquee tool, I can click and hold and select it from the pop-out or flyout menu, or I can press M for marquee. Now, the elliptical marquee tool also uses M as the keyboard shortcut, but if I just sit there and press M, it's not going to cycle through my various tools. If I want to cycle through them using the keyboard shortcut, I also have to press Shift and then the letter. So Shift-M will cycle through my marquee tools. Shift-L will cycle through my lasso tools. And then whichever is the icon that's present, when I go ahead and press that keyboard shortcut, it calls up that particular tool. So use the keyboard shortcut when you become very familiar with them. But when you're starting out, it's a good idea to just go ahead, click, hold, and then select from the flyout menu as you start to learn what the different tools are, where they're located, and then you can see, is there a keyboard shortcut that might be worth memorizing?